Welcome back to Broad League Heroes in the bottom, in the bottom right. Oh my! Uh, it's it's the Red Terran player, Teo Dore. Let's Te Te. I assume rhymes with Mayo. Teo, uh, for short. And in the top left, in another, like, randomly generated NPC name of names, Amor- Am- Amorson? Am- Amorson? Amor- Yeah, that- 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 How about- How about Ames? No. Amo. I- We'll figure it out. Zerg. We'll just go tasteless and- over here we have Zerg. Mirror matchups are a pain. But this is not a mirror matchup. It is not a TVT, believe it or not. But instead, a Terran versus Zerg. The iconic showdown. What do we have here? Teodor. Opting for... He's gonna... Yep. A one Rex expand. Such a beautiful macro play here. Not even waiting for that orbital command. He knows what he wants. And he's gonna get it. Get his macro achievements. <laughs> Meanwhile, Amorson is, uh, well, I mean, he's got a hatchery. He's got a spawning pool. What else of the production tab do you want me to read? I'll keep doing it. We got, we got a drone, a reaper. I'm excited to see the reaper micro here. The most important part of every early game. Um, but so far, neither sending out a scout. They're just assuming their opponent is not AFK, which is usually a pretty safe... A safe, a uh, safe assumption. Wow, <laughs> like what? Uh, I charge extra for words past two syllables. Reaper head now. There's, oh, there's gonna be a handful of zerglings. Let's go to the Teodor action cam. Let's see this Reaper micro in first person. All right. He's gonna... Nope, so close. Oh, grenade not perfect. Oh, no, the Zergling! Oh, no! Ends up with zero workers killed. Which is uh, not the ideal outcome there. Losing your Reaper. The SCVs make it through the airlock. Like a horror movie. Getting up there and suddenly, bam! Zerglings. This SCV in protest has ripped a barrel of gas from the refinery and is threatening to throw it on the ground. He says that there are unsafe working conditions and that they're always constantly under threat of harassment. But Teodor doesn't seem to care. Meanwhile, the Zerglings are heading across the map. Speed is done. A bunker doesn't seem like a realistic proposition here. He'll lift the command center. He'll wait. Meanwhile, Amorson, he's he's thinking about hidden bases. There could be other bases. There's so many other bases on the map. He might even have the minimap DLC. But for now, Teodor 16 SCVs. He's just gonna go about his business. Start that plus one infantry weapons. He's gonna have an elite squadron of up to 12 Marines. Up to, not including necessarily. Command center drops. Will we see? Oh, another orbital. A bold call. Meanwhile, a Morrison macroing up. He's got a third hatch. Nearly completed. It's starting to look almost like a relatively standard build. Like he's got he's gonna be up past 30 drones. He's getting a roach warren. He's got three bases. The absolute map. But never underestimate the power of a Terran player who sits in their base behind their wall. Well, usually building battlecruisers. All roads lead to battlecruisers. We all know that. 
If the game is long enough, there will be battle cruisers. It's written in the Ten Commandments of StarCraft. There's... You shall float your buildings to the corner every game before before Gold League. Um, you you should complain about how good the opponent's race is, and you should build a battle cruiser sometime in the first 38 minutes. But we're not there yet. And then there are seven others that everyone forgot. Um, lost to the sands of time. So a whole lot of spore crow. Like Morrison is playing it very safe here. He's getting all his defenses up. He's getting the lair. Plus one ranged attack. He's got 1,400 minerals, but he's just consulting his Prima strategy guide as to where to allocate them. Meanwhile, Teodor. Building up a marine tank army. A scan spots the lair. What will be the reaction? And the creep spread as well. What will it be, Teodor? Few SCVs taking a smoke break. Did you know if you look at their the like the little portraits, they're smoking inside of their SCV suits, which doesn't seem very safe. But neither does being an SCV in their defense. A handful of Zerglings, ready to strike. A bunker, two Zerglings sacrificed, a third. Confirming indeed that is a bunker. The Zerglings, forming up. Maybe ready for an alternative tactic. Teodor, put, he, he's got combat shields, he's getting stim. He's got plus one. Overlord, gun down. Oh, and the Lings will retreat. Meanwhile, this Marine caught on the front lines. Ooh, wow, that looked like a really painful death. Liberators in production. A little bit of everything out of Teodor. And a whole lot of nothing out of a Morson. He's got 2,800 minerals. He's got plus one, plus one. But his unit count is two roaches and five zerglings, which I'm going to go ahead and say it. That's not going to be enough. A Hydralis Den is in production as well. Teodor is slowly, very slowly, but surely building up Marine Tank and the supplies where once a Morrison had double, now drawn even. This Liberator. Oh, it's going to move into position. Oh, oh, the Queen's not happy about it. Down it goes. A little bit too much micro there from Teodor. 11 roaches, a scan. And another scan. He sees the third. He's figured out he's going roaches. Not a surprising revelation, but... Another liberator sent out. As he's testing the waters. Teodor has reached Pocket Watch APM. Morson, a handful above. Is that a Ghost Academy? Those ghosts, they, they didn't go to, they didn't go to four years of ghost school not to get nuclear missiles. This is a... What does he know that we don't? Nice zoning, liberation zone there. Oh, that one a little more aggressive. The overlords will watch, taking notes. Amorson has resources ready for uh, when the Overmind sends commands down the chain uh, and tells him what to build. Meanwhile, the ghost, one ghost in production. Lurker Den. Always a dangerous proposition. Two Hydras. Oh, the Liberator's still gonna rack up a couple kills, but the Hydras will angrily rip it out of the sky. It 
feels like the tension is palpable. The tension is like, like um, when you leave a French fry out for too long, and it becomes instead of soft and greasy, like from McDonald's, it it becomes hard and kind of stale, and could snap. It's kind of like that. The command center lands in a world of death and destruction. And now we'll float away after confirming indeed those are roaches and lings. He's ready to attack, but there are four siege tanks! And a whole bunch of marines, the roaches and lings. Taking the more dangerous. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, a beautiful preemptive scan. The men with guns and drugs will chase them down the Hydras out of move command. Maybe they need to move back for a second. Those are 1-1 one, one Marines. He's going to continue to fight it out. He's got medevac support. The back and forth, the tug of war, the bridge of death. Oh, he even brings up. Where did those Hydras come from? Well, where did they go? Where did they come from? A Morrison, no. Uh, Unsieged tanks even. Great utilization. Roaches and Hydras disjointed. Uh, the tactical withdrawal has become a total rout. And suddenly 16 more roaches. But wait. There is a ghost. At what point? And now he realizes it doesn't have a nuke. But he will be in position. Solo operative, right? A few Ravagers. The tanks will siege. Teodor has slowly but surely built a great army and is now really utilizing it. More roaches coming out. A Morrison has enough money to build roaches like a cockroach infestation. Like that. I could have just said a roach infestation. But he doesn't have an infestation pit, so that might be difficult. 18 lings on the way. Nuclear missile. Three quarters of the way done. I'm not sure. Like, he's aiming to launch it over at the fourth. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. 2-2. For his zero units, all the tanks, they fire their shot, will resupply, and will resiege. The nuke is done. The ghost cloaks. Ready to launch. The fourth base. All 12 of those units there are going to be very unhappy. The nuke! I think he noticed at the very last second one queen survives. A survivor of the nuclear apocalypse. Amorson just can't put it together. He's making five spine crawlers. Theodore continues to rally across the map. A hero to Terrans far and wide. Oh, oh that Hydra, it, that's a move. He right clicked on the hatch, which means this Hydra's really. Well, it doesn't. I, it's doing pretty well. Not well enough. One Hydra is not going to solve the problem. Meanwhile, two more nukes. Uh-oh, there's lurkers on the way. A scan up to the high ground. Teodor, what he doesn't have in speed, he makes up for in smarts. The lurkers need to... Ah! Ah! Oh, here comes some babes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And the lurkers. Does he know how to scan lurkers? Will he notice? Theodore, you've done so great so far, but he has two lurkers. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Nuclear, oh, John, it's a disaster. Oh, my God, a massacre. But meanwhile, drones, vulnerable, nuclear missile, launched. Everything will be cleansed. Besides the hatch, that's going to take some more. I think he scanned the lurkers after all his units were dead. Uh... That's, oh, well, you know what? You gotta do it again. Do it. Come on, you got one more. You got this. One badly bruised medevac. He called an evac. I mean, it, wait. Uh, he's scouting with that. Never mind. He's not calling an evac. We got a scouting medevac. Wait, it got distracted. Select the army hotkey, more than likely. But the ghost will launch the nuke. He's going to make sure that nuke knows where to go. you got to be very careful. And then he's going to use the last few rounds of his magazine to polish off that hatchery. Down it goes. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 
never say die, but he does die. <laughs> oh, revenge of the Broodlers! <laughs> Amorson is on one base, but he still has way more money than his opponent. Whatever happened to those lurkers? Where did the lurkers go? Oh, surprise! Oh, he's not, he's not scanning. He's got to scan. He scans so well everywhere else. He may have used... No, does he have energy? He doesn't have energy for scan! Oh no! Well, he does now, but he's not attacking! Okay, finally. The damage is done. He kills the lurkers. Theodore, very, very slowly, but surely, working his way up the ramp. Amorson, gonna build some more Lings and Banes. He's got a Lurker Den, but he doesn't have a Hydra Den, giving us a weird chicken and egg situation. Uh, so he can't actually build any more Lurkers, is the end result of that. <laughs> because he can't build the Hydras, thus making the argument of the Hydra Den should be able to become the Lurker Den. Or, if you have a Lurker Den, you should be able to build Hydras. This seems fair. Another, another division moves out. One ghost on the way. What will the Morrison do? He has 7,000 minerals. He has 1,100 gas. But he only has 30 against 90 supply. The Terran armies have devastated the Zerg. But it's not over yet. As the ghost said so eloquently, never say die. Not sure the Zerg speak English, except for when it's good for plot development. But we will see. The, oh, I guess a nuclear missile could open up the defenses. There is an overseer. Oh, oh, oh god. Uh, he uncloaked manually at the end of his life there, which was an interesting... It was a, I don't know! <laughs> Mainling speed is done, but those are, like, there are some upgrades here. There are upgrades of any kind. Oh, the patience from a Morrison. Oh, Spore Crawler racking up mag kills. This is, oh, he's like, well, I guess we're here. Yep, that didn't go great. Every mainling dies. I mean, that's better of a, like, no matter if they had a good life or a bad one, every mainling dies at the end. All right, we're gonna try it again. Oh, oh my God. Special operative using special tactics to outmaneuver his opponent. A nuke! Not that there's many more resources to mine. Oh, does he see it? I don't know. Like he did he kind of moved in a You gotta you gotta scan, otherwise you don't know. That killed a lot of larvae as well. A whole bunch of mainlings. The hydrogen's still on the way. Teodor. It's now five workers. To 36. There's a dropper lord on the way. Oh, God. The turrets. There's only one medevac left. The tanks are stuck on the low ground. The mainlings. Oh, my God. Okay, well. Eventually, they made it through. Um, the queen. Target fires the medevac. The drones are pulled. That's the rest of them, by the way. That's all he's got. Okay. GG. But wait, I have Zerg. GG, 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 GG. I definitely wasn't prepared for that push. And as they type, Amorson cleans up the attack finally. Uh, he has zero supply. Which one, says Theodore, legitimately confused. The push that wiped out three of his hatcheries has continued for like 12 minutes now. Oh, the Broodling's Revenge! The sequel! Love the nukes at this level. Nobody is really prepared. Theodore, a strategist. Meanwhile, Amorson is actually about to be ahead on army supply. After all the GGs. Okay, I once had... Okay, Theodore's still telling his life story. While Morrison is building lurkers! 
Like, I don't... And rebuilding drones! A morsel with the masterful strats! An interesting scan, considering his SCV's already there! It was pretty slow. It's, it's not over yet! It's not over yet, Tandor! Don't write your memoir! I don't... <laughs> He's like, it all started when I was a child. I, I loaded up StarCraft on my Nintendo 64 when I was but 38 years old. And now, as a 65-year-old man, the same strategies still apply. Savage, lol. I'm worse than talking him up. He just walked right past everyone. Like, the SCV has seen nothing. It might actually be blind. Meanwhile, all the ghosts are cloaked to make sure. And then the Marines and SCVs are there just in case to distract. So Amorson is legitimately in a prime position to win this game now. It, I, I seriously believe. Okay, here's my analysis. Is the first GG was, yeah, I'm pretty dead, GG. And then it, immediately after he realized, oh wait, I'm not dead. And now we're here. Um, the ghost. No cloak! No cloak! Oh, I've seen this before, but not on Twitch. Uh. <clears throat> Meanwhile. Oh. Okay, the ghost. Trying to get involved. Oh, they got it. Are you gonna go? Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh. And it. Oh, the scan ran out. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> How many nukes? He's got two nukes. Oh, the supplies are remarkably close to even, despite both players agreeing the game was over and telling their life stories. Um, but it's Bronze League Heroes. It's never over. Meanwhile, a Morrison. What is that? Did he drone drop? He took it. I don't even know where those drones are from. I assume the main. All right, and the push continues, but this time a lot of the army. Well, he's not mining with the drones, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Whoa! Ah, oh, my queens! The tanks are for. Oh, what a transfuse! But the rest of the queens gonna get involved. Brenda and her knitting crew are back. They're gonna fight. Is it enough? The queens have decent upgrades, but the transfuses are not cutting it. They eat the tank shots for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But, oh, if, if the marine died, there's no vision. Oh, I don't know if this drone transfer is advised. Oh yeah, and then there's the rest of the army. Oh, Morrison now has a whole bunch of zerglings, but the nukes, he's launching the nukes. There's no vision. Um, Zerglings, get out of there. Zerglings, Zerglings, you got one job! You got one goddamn job! What are these scans? He's scanning across the map looking for hidden bases. He didn't have the scans. Dude, dude, get out of my game, bro! I got this! I winnered! I wanted! Did Teodor want it or not? He doesn't have enough scans to scout this base, unfortunately. What? Says Amorson. Tell me more about your exploits. Well, the spawning pool restarts. Give up, please. Wow. Like, I... I, I don't... I'm still in this. Unfortunately, the scans of the same base still don't reveal. Maybe if he scans enough, he'll reveal the hatchery that's underground. Teodor in his mind, like... It's a, it's a total and overwhelming victory. Nukes do it again! Amorson... I, like, is definitely not taking full advantage of the situation, but... Oh, here we go. And this is where the game really starts. I don't know. Oh, all the lurkers are on the same hotkey. Who? What? Who? Who? 
of all the W qu where? Yes, better. Uh, oh. Why don't you tell me? Because my SCVs don't understand how lurkers work. Oh, and now, now how the turntables have turned. The boys, that, yep, those are definitely lurkers. It is confirmed. The uh, forces are heading back. Now it's Theodore who has money in the bank. The lurker's heading forward. There's almost no production. Lurker's gonna burrow. There's essentially no mining. Partially because Morrison has no workers, and partially because Theodore is, doesn't have any bases. Both of them have less workers than they started this game with. I'm sure that's not like a unique situation. Meanwhile, the scans. Does he know how to use snipe? Oh, does he know how to use cloak? Uh, the, the, oh no, he ran out of stuff! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! What a Cinderella story! And this is where a Morrison tells him about how nobody's prepared for lurkers at this level. Is there still a nuke in the silo? No. The buildings will be lifted. Just give up, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. He's gonna kill one. A scan. Wait, what's coming out? A tank. Shoot. Shoot the. Th ah! The tank escapes persecution. But, oh, where did these Hydras come from? Oh, we had these Hydras the whole time! They just didn't come with the markers, the Hydras! Okay. Well, Teodor has enough to go, like, build cloak banshees or something. And he also has two tanks and two SUV. Haha, <laughs> what bullshittery! Indubitably, this bullshittery doth taketh me by surprise this. You can have the win. A really bold and generous, generous uh, development from Theodore. So, so charitable to give him the win at this stage. I doth bestoweth upon you a victory when I could have had it myself. Well. It looked like it would all be wrapped up with a very slowly coming together but obvious bow. But, as there almost always is, Bronze League Heroes filled with twists and turns and bullshittery. And today, Amorson embraced every tactic he had at his disposal. metaphorically and was able to receive a generous win from Theodore who exercised complete dominance mentally and physically on the battlefield but respectively as a gentleman decided to contribute to a Morrison's latter points what did you think who was more generous who had the greater mind games who deserved to win was it the fans if you think so Thank FFT Private for judging this one worthy. And also thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and, and ring the bell and leave your comments and do all the other exciting, important things if you enjoyed Bronze League Heroes.